Hi, Mike. Can you look over here, please, Mike? It's Mike Messier with a Messier moment. I'm here with a gentleman I've known for quite some time. It's very honorable to have you on the show. Oh, it's thank you. Steven Feinberg, Executive Director of the Rhode Island Film and TV Office. And I'm reading from your card because we want the exact title because what you do is so important for the state of Rhode Island. Well, thank you. Can I have the card back so I can go like this? I'll go like this. And I'm with Mike Messier. No, no. <laughs> on the Messier moment. On the Messier moment. I'm <laughs> Stephen, how long have you had your position with the uh, Rhode Island Film and TV Office? I, I started April 5th, 2010. So it's been, uh, not 2000, 2004, excuse me. So it's been 10 years. 10 years. That's great. Well, congratulations on your 10 year anniversary. Thank you. Um, it's very exciting just to see. Part of the dream was to see Rhode Island filmmakers rise in prominence, go on a, a national and international globe, and we've seen that. And then to bring in the big films from Hollywood to Rhode Island, and we've seen that, and we've seen TV series and film festivals flourishing, and it's been pretty cool. It's been very cool. Anything from Brotherhood on Showtime. Uh, we had Dan in Real Life with Steve Carell was filmed here. We had Wes Anderson, Moonrise Kingdom, Underdog. We had 27 Dresses. And now this last year, Woody Allen. And then we had uh, this movie that's tonight is uh, Opposite Sex, Almost Mercy. And then we've got the Vinnie Paz movies finally happening. And that's got a wonderful cast. Tell us about it. Well, Katie Segal just came on board for Sons of Anarchy. Um, there's Miles Teller, who is in a movie Whiplash. He just got, I think it was the Hollywood Reporter or Variety that said he's the new star of the year. Um, it also includes uh, Aaron Eckhart. Yeah. He's going to be playing uh, Kevin Rooney, so right. he's going to be shaving his head. And then, I don't know if I pronounced this gentleman's name right. It's, I believe, Karen I, I don't remember his name, but he was in Munich, and he was in There Will Be Blood, and he was in In Bruges, and he's this character actor from Ireland who is phenomenal. I mean, he's going to be playing Angelo, and I admired his work after I saw him in Munich. I don't know if you've seen Munich. Right. Spielberg directed yeah. it. He's, Angelo Dundee you're talking about, who's the trainer no, of Vinny. No, he's going to be playing Angelo Pazienza. Oh, okay. Angelo, he's being Vinny's dad. The, the father of the boxer Vinny Paz, who's a great guy, a good friend of mine. And if people don't know Vinny Paz, he is a fighter from Cranston, Rhode Island. He had 50 career victories uh, and 30 knockouts of those victories. He's a tremendous guy. Broke his neck. They said he would never even forget, maybe never walk again. He ended up boxing again and winning a championship. It's the greatest sports comeback in, in history. So it's amazing. And that's a you know a project that Chad Verde and Michelle Verde have been working on for years. It's finally happening. It starts filming November 10th. They'll be filming at the Dunk. They'll be filming at Twin River. They'll be filming in Cranston. They'll be filming in Pawtucket. They'll be filming all over the place and in Providence. It's going to be great. And not only... Um is Woodhaven Films doing the Vinnie Paz story, which I believe is titled Bleed for This? Yes, Bleed for This, yep. But they've also signed on to do, is it correct to say uh, 10, 10 films total, is that correct? It's a 10-picture it's a deal um, with uh, Screen Media. It's a subsidiary of Universal. So they have, you know, 10 films that are being distributed. That's a big thing for an independent filmmaker, and they were able to secure that. Chad's been working with Martin Scorsese, who's executive producing Bleed for This, along with Bruce Cohen, who got an Academy Award for uh, American Beauty, and he did Silver Linings Playbook. So it's outstanding folks there. And the best part, Mike, and you know this, they're using local talent. They're using local crew. They're taking interns from New England Tech and Rhode Island College and all these schools and URI and building up our crew base and using local vendors. And it's just awesome to see just the seeds of Rhode Island film talent growing uh, at amazing levels. As an actor, I was very fortunate to have a role in a movie called Hard Luck, which you helped bring to town. Yep. Uh, Wesley Snipes was in that movie. Sybil Shepherd, uh, I played her son. Yep. And I had Mario a- Mario Pan Peebles. Mario Pan Peebles directed, and I get to fight him in the movie. Yeah, and uh, uh, you were terrific in that. Thank you. And as an actor, what a thrill.
uh, Stephen, and I thank you and Annie Mulhall from LDI Casting, our good friend, for making that possibility. Yeah, and Anne has done great. I mean, she's working on all of these wonderful films, and I know she cast um, uh, Tommy Danucci's most recent film, Almost Mercy, and I saw a, a cut of that movie. That's a groundbreaking Quentin Tarantino type of movie. It's very edgy, but I think that there's some breakout performances in that, too. So... To see all these people working together like yourself, living the dream, you've got your own little show here too, yeah, and and, you're, and and I know that you've also provided some really good um, uh, critical uh, points to help some of these filmmakers, whether it's in the editing process, because you've got a, uh, a lot of knowledge in film, and it's just a sense of community, teamwork, people looking out for one another. Well, it's uh, our friend Erica Derrickson with her Hollywood East Actors Group mantra, Together We Rise, and I, I try to live that these days and try to be uh, helpful, and, and other people have helped me, that's for sure. Yeah, it's all about, you know, they, what do they say, uh, when, the, when the tide rises, all boats float. That's an Ocean State uh, slogan, and I think that's really true. And, you know, it's all about helping one another. And I tried to stress that when I first came back to Rhode Island. I remember some of the folks were saying, why are actors here? Why are writers here when I had these town hall meetings? I said, because you writers are going to need actors. You filmmakers are going to need editors. It's community. It's a collaborative medium. And yes, it's important to have a vision. But when you get people who are starting to become seasoned, they can bring a lot to the table. And I'm a big fan of the work that's going on here. People are really getting a sense of how to maximize the potential of the craft. They're developing relationships in here and in New York and Hollywood. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing. What can the viewer of the Messier moment there, do? Danielle. Now, here's a yeah, I am. Gorgeous. Come on, come talk to the press, she's please, a little, she's please. A star in the making. Hi, how You're are such you? such a star in the making. So, so, so wonderful to see you. She is going to be cosmic, I'm <laughs> telling you. you. Now, if, and hello. Hello, I'm Mike, Mike Messier. Mike Messier. If I'm not mistaken, you are in Almost Mercy, is that correct? That is cosmic. correct. That's correct. I fell and, in love with her. You. And you play a um, high, high school senior or junior senior, senior. who's on a rampage. And uh, no mercy. She's the just next Angelina Jolie star. She's going to be unbelievable. What she does is, I think, groundbreaking. I think you're fantastic. Thank you so much. You know, much. Daniel Craig. I don't know if you saw the movie Layer Cake. I did not, but tell us about okay, it. Daniel Craig was in a movie called Layer Cake, and after that, he became James Bond. So oh. you're gonna you're gonna see her in this movie. And you're gonna go. This girl's like a spy. She's a killer. Oh, She's got yeah. a sense of humor. She's awesome. You're awesome. Thank you so much. You're you're speaking it, my it, dreams right it's now. It's true. It's the truth. There's a shot in this movie, and I was lucky enough to see a rough cut with Tommy Nucci, the director, and I, I even threw in some some thoughts, not advice, but thoughts on the editing. And there's a shot in this movie where you're smearing blood through your hair. And I said to Tommy and Sam, the editor, I said, this is a star right here because uh, to make that moment of the blood going through the hair was very pivotal in the uh, character arc and climax of that film, I thought. I, I just can't thank you enough. Really, your words mean so much to me. Thank she you so much. She had a good sense of humor and, and reality and fun. And even though it was like a dark subject matter, like I was like rooting for it. I'm like going, that's a tough thing. You did. Uh, thank I, you. I, I was so impressed. What I can say is I that this so entire crew, the entire production staff, the crew, the writing, it was all impeccable. And without without a great crew, without great writing, without a great piece of material, you cannot make a great product. So thank you, State of Rhode Island, next for providing stop. that. The next big <laughs> stop. We're going to go. Thank you. Will die in two minutes. Please have a seat. So much. The opposite sex will die in two minutes. Right. Okay, Stephen. Well, thanks. Thank you, Mike, thank you so much. Messier moment. I love the messier moment. I hope there are more messier moments to come. Thank you very much, Stephen. Congratulations on great work thank for the Rhode Island Film and TV Office. Messier moment. Hi, Mike. Can you look over here, please, Mike?